Rick Sparber here. Uh, I just had a reader point out to me that uh, if you're going to cut round stock on a bandsaw, uh, it's nothing I haven't done before, but he pointed out that, yeah, it, it does spin and it's dangerous when it spins. It also, if it does start to spin, will start tearing up the surface of the round stock. And uh, it's just something you got to be aware of and be careful of. Uh, so I got thinking about it, and uh, I have a couple of these hockey pucks. Uh, my wife's a figure skater, so when I ask her to pick me up some hockey pucks, uh, she can usually find them without any problem. Uh, they're either in the garbage or they're stuck in weird places, so uh, it's not something you should have to pay for if you're near an ice rink. And what I did was take my saw and very carefully cut a big V in it. Not precise, but it's, and I, it's rough, but that's good. I, I want it to be rough. So, what I can do is nestle the round stock in that V and it's going to help to grab it so it doesn't spin. So what I'm doing, I'm doing now is try to cut this stuff without this rubber V block or ben, a rubber uh, bench block and then I'll show you how it works when I use it. But you can see it has a tendency to turn. No problem. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. You can see better. So that, uh, that rubber V grabs it just enough that when you push down, it counteracts some of that rotation. Uh, so just an idea that you might want to consider. Uh, safety first, bandsaws cut meat. That's all for now. Bye.